Happy New Year! So it's the 11th of January today. I'm just out having a little look at this demo field that I drilled. Um, I think it was the 15th of October I was out here. Um, but yeah, all looking very well, so that's quite pleasing. So the last 10 days or so have been really dry here and, and very cold, but before that we had a huge amount of rain in December, so there was a lot of wet standing water about, and sadly this field was um, included in that. There was a wet patch just I think somewhere there I'm not sure if that's quite coming up so the water hadn't infiltrated perfectly there it's the first year of direct drilling I think that will improve once we get this soil structure improving and stop fighting it uh, and playing with it but on the whole this is, is walking really well and I've got to be pleased with this one of the things that farmers uh, always comment on when I'm doing demonstrations and the crops start coming through is the quality of the headlands right to the hedge and it's a good example of that. Uh, this field isn't in a direct drilling system, it's first time clay drilling. Uh, the farmer did want to give me a decent field, he, there was no point in him saying oh, this is the worst field on the farm, it's a soaking wet autumn, come and have a look if it works in there. Uh, that's not really how it works with direct drilling, we know that. We know if you put a direct drill or any direct drill into fields that the soil conditions aren't there. Um, then it's questionable what results you'll get but um, get the soil conditions right then we know we can get fantastic results and that's definitely the case here so all the um, turning on the headlands was done here no pre-cultivation just straight in with the clay and drilled that front time would have been at about four or five inches just letting that water getting away and giving the soil that chance to alleviate any surface compaction so really pleased with that right that's a couple of demo follow-ups done really pleased with how the crops are looking so that's all positive um, but the main thing I wanted to talk to you about today was the Claydon Terra Blade uh, into Roho because um, I'm doing a lot of uh, sales of those at the moment a lot of people on the phone wanting to learn how our hoe works and how they could uh, utilize that to help their fight against black grass and to be honest if you have got a grass weed burden into Rohoeing is an absolute no-brainer we know the solution isn't coming from the bottle so um, yeah this is a very very good way of complementing the chemical mix that you're already using and hopefully actually making that more effective as you um, yes yeah, stop building that resistance and stop uh, the dependence on the chemical so the idea of the Claydon hoe is we're going in between those rows um, of Claydon drill crops and taking out that black grass and it's very very effective at doing that we're getting 90-95% kill in between the rows um, we've adapted the hose so we can use them now on, on any uh, type of drill so anything that's band sewn we can move the blades around we can use wider and narrower blades um, we can do whatever you need to do do really so um yeah two of the hose i sold last week weren't to claydon drill customers one was to um a horse sprinter user uh so that, that's quite common uh, and another one i think it was to a vicar the direct drill a new direct drill um user so yeah we, we're getting them out and about not just to claydon customers um here's a little video of, of, of some footage i took uh last spring um, this is going into spring barley in the Cotswolds near Burford um, and it will just talk you through how the hoe works. If you're interested in seeing a Claydon hoe running this spring we'll have um, more dealers than ever demonstrating them. I'm going to have a demonstrator here in the Cotswolds so we'd definitely be able to get one out to you or try to get one out to you or get you to see one running um, but do have a think about it because uh, yeah if you're struggling with grass weeds then this is a solution.
baby, kiss me Before they turn the lights out Your heart is glowing And I'm crashing into you Baby, kiss me Before they turn the lights out Turn the lights out Baby, let me lights out In the darkest night ah. In the darkest night oh, oh, oh. Search through the crowd Search through the crowd This is all that I see Give me everything Baby, let me lights out Baby, let me lights out You can turn the lights out forever Baby, daylight's wasting You better kiss me Before time has run out So it's Tuesday the 12th of May. I'm out in uh, near Burford in Oxfordshire with the Intero Ho. Uh, chap is somewhere up there um, and uh, yeah we came out last week into the spring barley field um, there's a bit of black grass in this field so um, the customer wanted to have a place if we get it out but we we felt it was still slightly too juvenile the black grass so we were bringing up little half inch inch root balls of soil with with the hoe and we I was a bit worried about them re rerouting so it's now, uh, yes, yeah, so it was last Wednesday we came out. It's now the Tuesday, and I'll, I'll just show you the job it does. So to the right of the picture has been hoed, to the left hasn't. So this row here is, is, is where the hose stopped. So you can see the black grass we've got here is still very much intact. Hopefully we'll come back and get that next time. But you can see the job the hoe is doing. We're keeping it nice and shallow. We don't want root balls coming up. We don't want it reseeding. But you can see all this black grass we're taking out in spring barley. Um, there's a little bit hanging on there to the edge, but the huge majority of it we're taking out. Um, so really effective control.